Oh, you sorry. sorry. So uh, welcome to another bee challenge. Uh, sorry, we just got distracted by talking about Chinese food. Um, this is your host. Well, one of your hosts, uh, your evil boyfriend. And we have... What's up, guys? It's your dad's lit. And I just got a haircut. Uh, if you guys know this... Less volley myths. He uh, decided to copy my hairstyle because it's the least amount of uh, work. Yeah. So, like, the side, no sides. <laughs> The haircut chick was like, Do you want me to style it? And I was like, No. Leave it back down. That's why I got it like this. So I don't have to style it. <laughs> um, today, uh, we're uh, flipping a sample from our uh, feedback group. If you want to join it, apply them below. Uh, we'll set up an interview. Uh, we basically we give each other feedback on our music and make it better and get it record ready. And it's free of charge. All it costs you is for you to fucking show up, bro. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I, don't, I haven't even listened to the sample. What is it? Uh, it's like a, it's a synth arp. Oh, okay. Do you know the BPM? I have it loaded already. It's uh, yeah. collecting already. It's 75? 75 oh, okay. in G. Okay. What are we? Uh, are we using a plugin? Oh yeah. So yeah, we uh, we also take a plugin that we have, and then uh, we just try to use it on every sound. That way, it like makes things interesting, and you guys can know what you can do with the plugin. Just get the most out of it. Uh, we usually just go through presets, but because sometimes we plug in just stuff, that stuff that is too aggressive, we just like it because it's just like, oh, I didn't know you can put that on your whatever, kick, bass, lead, whatever. Um, yeah, so let's see, see. What can we use today, Shalot? Uh, should we try to get sponsored by Sound Toys still? I think we should keep trying to get sponsored by Sound Toys. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so we use the crystallizer, we use the capitator. Use phase mystery. Okay. We can use a uh, double lock. The, so for the double lock, because it's the same shit with the deluxe, it's literally like there's not much difference. What you want to just deluxe one? Sorry? What about trimmy later? Okay, so you still want to do movement? Okay, sure, no problem. Let's uh, let's use the trimmer later then. We haven't used it yet. Nope. Okay, cool. So we'll use the tremor later today. So because Charlotte already has his uh, session loaded up, we'll start with him. But um, yeah, man, how's your week going so far, though? Uh pretty good. Just, just, uh, just chilling. Not too much. Nice. My girlfriend. Yesterday, we had late Valentine's Day. We had steak. Wait, I thought you had that on Friday. Or Friday, yeah. Damn. Yesterday, the day before. The days interconnect. That's how in love he is, guys. He doesn't even know where the days go by. And yeah. Uh, my girlfriend's addicted to bulb tea. All of a sudden. So am I. Like, every time we're downtown, she gets bulb tea. Bro, same. And like, I've learned which ones are the best now. All right. Well, what 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 are the the fire ones? Um, Has Yifeng made it? Honestly, Yifeng is kind of not one of the better ones. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, Gongcha. You like Gongcha? That's so sweet. Uh, Gongcha has the best um, brown sugar milk tea. It's just, I don't know, it just tastes way better than every everywhere else. Okay. I don't know. Like when I had Yifang yesterday, mm -hmm. it almost felt like watered down. Because it's healthy. Yeah, but it's not. Like, you're drinking milk. It's not going to be healthy, anyways. Not all bubble teas have milk. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying if you have brown sugar milk tea. You can have OT. Like you have, or you have oat milk on it, though. drinking milk with brown sugar. You're not going to make it healthy. Uh, this is what happens when uh, Charlotte goes full Asian. Yeah. She becomes a hater. What else is good? I don't know. She only has brown sugar milk tea, so I just, I just, no. So wait, so you haven't had the brown sugar matcha? Brown, uh, uh, go to you know, and get their fruit tea. They're, they're actually really good. But you haven't had the matcha brown sugar at Yifang? No. Bro, so like the brown sugar at like Yifang, it's whatever. But the matcha brown sugar milk tea at Yifang is the tits. Matcha brown sugar milk tea? Yeah. Okay. I'll try that next time. It's fire. Fucks up your life. Yeah, Diego has a new uh, drug addiction. It's called matcha. Yeah. Do you, do you already have one today? Of course the fuck. Yeah. Every day. He just drinks it like straight. Literally just like gets a spoon. Full uh, yeah, I just put like a spoon in my mouth and I just water down with milk or water. Yeah. I still haven't bought it. I need to, I need to buy it. Let's try it out. It's really good. I think. Um... Yeah, it's like the it's like holistic natural cocaine. So like Yep. All about that. Some of you might know already, some of you white girls that had that put that much on everything. Oh uh, yeah, because they all, all had a nose problem. Yeah. That's you get out, bro. If you have a glow problem, just uh, start taking matcha and just slowly pull out. It'll feel the same, but no addiction. Yeah, I think. Or maybe if you drink coffee, you just replace it with matcha. Dude, honestly, it's better because you don't get the jitters. You're just as awake. Yeah. At least it's my opinion, right? And you also have like timing, so you're like relaxed the whole day. And you're just like, yeah, everything's awesome. Here you here, folks. For you, all you anxious people. Yeah, so I think matcha. Because you're drinking coffee with and smoking weed. That's probably it. Same time, basically. That's what it, what it is. <laughs> yeah. Up the coffee. Yeah. And uh, we're back. Okay, so we just saw Shalot make a buildup with that sample. Hopefully, DJ Freefall doesn't get mad at you later. It's like, bro, that's all you made? Half an hour? What? I'll, I'll just work on it more. Yeah. Well, technically, you're allowed to spend an hour and a half on it, right? So you still have an hour to work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's jump the screen. So it's the sample. And we're using Tremolator for everything, eh? Yeah. I don't really like Tremolator, to be honest, because it doesn't do like, what I want. I like other plugins better. Oh, that sounds fire. Yeah. So you wrote, what'd you write? You didn't write anything, right? It's just a build up. So <laughs> yeah, I did like a build up. Yeah. See what beats kind of sound good with us. Okay. That's too funny.
that sounds kind of cool. All right, let's do that. Let's actually grab some shit. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna wait dubstep. Is it G minor? Or... Sounds pretty sad, right? Let's see. Shout out to Hook Theory. Every episode I use it because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Let's see, I want G. Okay. Go D.
got some sound, cool sound. All right, let's simulate it. That's a cool tone. That's pretty dope. Sorry, I'm just gonna spend a little time on sound design to like make it interesting and then I'll actually produce. <laughs> Team no talent, guys. Team no talent. Never forget. Okay, so we have that. Now we need a bass. Mm, too lazy. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, I have to look at it. <laughs> That sounds subtle and kind of sick. Now let's see how it sounds together with this guy. A little less. properly should sound better now.
I'll, uh, I'll make a tutorial on how to use this thing later. <laughs> um, after I finish the beat, just remind me, Charlotte. It's like, yep. tell them how to do shit. Try this. Ah, it sounds too much like a gunshot. I always use this one. This low quality one. Interesting. I feel like it's not in key. F and C. So I'll turn it on. Two. I need some sort of like organics in there. And I need to also put a later on it. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do that, but all right. That sounds pretty organic. Am I allowed to put tremolator on a on a track on a bus instead of like an individual track? Am I allowed to do that for every track? Uh, I guess if you want. Like, I'm basically gonna group it. and I'm gonna put tremolator after. Is that cool? Or can I do I have to put it on every single one? Sure. All right, guys, we're figuring out the rules. If you guys want to make the rules to make it harder, <laughs> comment down below. <laughs> we don't care. It's just like I just don't want to cheat. Uh, put this guy here so it has like that extra fucking width to it. Weird width. It sounds fucking dope. Shit. Yeah, let's put your monitor on this guy. Thing. It like <laughs> kind of like makes it dip at the end. Yeah. Definitely at the end to make it even more interesting, I think. So I got a bass, I got a lead, I got that weird plug, and I need some sort of vocal.
I can't hear that. For some reason, I can't hear it. Interesting. Maybe it's because of fucking Zoom? routing, like your actual sound routing, probably. Yeah, probably because I'm on Zoom. Yeah, I can't hear it either. Yeah. Uh, see. I know. I can hear it now. In my distant, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be shy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're gonna go lazy. That sounds cool. I know there's more underneath the lights. Will you forgive if I forget you're so shaded? Will we find out you're so shaded? We don't keep no secrets. We don't need no one. All right. Teenage pre probation shit. That's cool. We don't need no secrets. I need the first life life. Okay, so what's in place? Eh. Eh. Stop in place. Okay, so get out of my life. Get out of my life. To all logic users, remember sure that when you're putting samples in, that you actually bounce them in place because otherwise you'll fuck up the raw. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't need no one. Yeah, that's cool. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We don't keep no secrets. We don't need no one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put some more on this. Ah, uh, that's gonna be weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah 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 well, kind of lots like this weird sidechain movement shit. All right, let's put on it. Sounds kind of boring, so I'm just gonna put a crystallizer on it because that always makes it sound super interesting. This one, let's change this guy here. We don't keep no secrets, we don't need no one. We keep no secrets, we don't need no one. We don't keep no secrets, we don't need no one. We don't keep no secrets. I like it. We don't keep no secrets. We don't need no one. We don't keep no secrets. That's so weird. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
interesting break uh, let me make this fit properly mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm going 
gonna put a <laughs> huh? How's the subdrop gonna work? You don't need no one. Okay, cool. Oh, dude, I'm gonna put my fucking. I'm gonna do that for all my subdrops now. The terminal layer on them. I have two minutes. Can I do with that? Not much, really. Sounds like you can't think of a drop either, man. I don't have a drop. All I have is. <laughs> I know. So I'm saying you can't right. think of a drop either. I, I spent too much Amazon design. That's what's happening. I guess like oh, we need some sort of beat, but I don't know what to do. So I have no, I'm done. That's it. Yeah, no. Nah. Well, I, that's all I had, right? I spent too much time with sound design. Shit. So I don't know, that's what I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't keep no secrets, we don't need no one. We don't keep no secrets, we don't need no one. We don't keep no secrets, we don't need no one. We don't keep no secrets, we don't need no one. Sorry, I just need to do the yeah something like that feels bad man <laughs> both, both got wrecked by a sample feels bad uh, i didn't get wrecked i just need more time 
dude, you literally got just as much stuff done as me. You did, you did I up. fucking had you a, literally I did a build, build up. up. I have a break. What do you got? Same thing. How many stems you got? How many stems you got? You got like what? Five? Like five stems, but like literally did the same thing. I have 15, <laughs> dude. Yeah, we still only have a build up. I have a break. And a build up. I have double. Yeah, sorry guys. Still, we have a... snow drop. Snow drop. Where is the drop? This is silent. This is a regressive house. Silent drop. Yeah. Regressive house. Yeah. New genre. Yeah. You use your imagination. Yeah, just pretend the drop's fire. Yeah, just uh make it up in your head. <laughs> like you will never be disappointed with regressive house because the drop you decide what it is in your head. Yeah. It can be fast, it can be slow. Yeah. Up interpretation. Uh, how's the week going for you? Oh, it's all right. Hmm. Um, I ran five miles. Miles? Like an American? I ran, so no, sorry, sorry, sorry not five. Five kilometers. Oh, okay, so like, so like 4.7 miles I ran. 4.7? Yeah, 4.7 miles. No way. It's almost almost five miles. You said six miles or six kilometers? I have, I have my uh, my logs to prove it. My, my GPS. So logs. six kilometers is 3.7 miles. Yeah, so I ran like 7K, 7, 8K. They ran seven miles? Seven kilometers. They ran 4.3? Well, like 4.5, 4.7. Uh, nope, not according to uh, the converter, man. I think uh, you ran more than seven miles then. No, I ran 4.7 miles. 4.7? Five, five, yeah. Okay. That's 7.6 miles, uh, kilometers. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. One day? Hmm? Where were you trying to go, Richmond? No, I was just running around the block. You're <laughs> just running around the block. You're just like, yeah. fucking like. Um, it's like a park that has kind of. It's like kind of big. Has like a trail. I just kept looping it until I oh, got the, the Jewish center. No, there's like a school, and then there's like a there's like a walk park beside the school, and there's like it's kind of like a a track, but not a track. Okay. Cool. It's like a, yeah. I uh, I did yoga with yesterday with Erica yesterday. I did uh lower back and back workout. Man, those suck. Where? At home? Just, uh YouTube. There's this girl that we follow. Her name is uh, Sarah Beth. She's uh she fucked you up. Yeah. She uh has two first names. Yeah, Sarah Beth. Sarah Beth. Yeah. Yoga with Sarah Beth. Pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty dope. I used to do it a lot. I just wish yoga was a little bit more like, like it would get your heartbeat out a bit more. Like it's hard, right? And it can be intense, but sometimes I just want to hear myself panting. You know what I mean? That's not what it's for though. But I'm just saying I wish it were. You're supposed to hold positions and feel pain. <laughs> like that meme that I posted on Facebook yesterday. Just like, uh, I'm practicing my flexibility. Oh, what the hell was it? It's like from that like alien cartoon. Something really dumb. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something really dumb. Adventure time? No, uh, it was like, I'm folding myself to become more foldable. It is the pain that prevents pain. I mean, I can send you the yoga I used to do. You probably sweat on that one. It's pretty lit. Is it hot? No, it's just like intense. Are you trying to become a break dancer? No, it's doing jujitsu and shit. Same thing. Anyways, I'll have to find it, but yeah. you'll uh, you'll sweat and die. Yeah. 
also uh gotta let everybody know uh my mixing and mastering business is doing pretty well so if you want me to uh mix and master your song uh find me at your evil uh i will talk to you for a bit find out what your goals are and then help get your song out there i've missed lots of music yeah you know one of the songs that i mix and master made it on tv in reno which is pretty cool you what so like my friend, he's a producer with this girl named Amy Aguilar, right? And uh, he was just like, hey man, can you like help me with the master? And I was just like, sure. And then uh, I mastered his song and then that song is on TV now. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, so I'm just like, oh, cool. <laughs> Famous now? It's not, I don't know, I mean, Apparently, like they're gonna interview her or whatever. I made mean, good for the artists. I'm just happy to be a part of it. I'm just like, oh shit! Now I can say that I did that song, the master. Yeah. Which one is it? Well, uh, no need to hide, Amy Aguilar. Oh shit! Yeah. No need to hide. Yeah. It's like reggaeton, but like with flutes. Which is like my buddy style of how he produces. Shout out Kissy for Tapia. All the way is out in Reno. Amy Anna? I think so, yeah. Don't play it because otherwise we're going to have the same promo as last week. Got Don't it. play it. <laughs> if you want to go check it out, um, I'll host it later. Yeah, it's Amy Anna, No Need to Hide. I think it's pretty good. I mean, I did the master. So. Yeah. Cool. Pretty sick. We should uh we should go to another like uh, gluten free restaurant today and then review it. Get my GoPro. We just do jute first because we never we never filmed that one. Should we just take it to go then? Just eat at your house. Uh, I want to review it there. Like then it's awkward because yeah. they're like, Are "You just fucking guys." Sure. I mean, it just doesn't taste as good when you take it for, for take out, but. Okay, yo, I'll bring a fucking like um the thing that makes it like keep warm, like one of those like transport of food. I have a big one from Hyundai because I went to like get my car servicers and they just gave me one. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring one of those. We'll go at like what eight or something. Yeah, sure. Cool. Sounds also, cool. uh, everybody that's uh, out partying due to COVID. I hope you don't die. Yeah, and RIP Texas because oh. they're frozen. Dude, my buddy's in Texas, and he says like all the ice cream at the Walmart. Oh, well, the Walmart is gone. He's unimpressed. Dude, it's literally only like it's literally like negative one or minus zero. It's hilarious. I was like, wow, it, it must really be cold there. And then I like looked up the temperature, and I was just like. <laughs> Just like looking at it, just like, is this a joke? Bro. <laughs> like, you, you guys can't. are like freaking out over like negative zero. What is a negative zero? You mean just zero? Just zero. Yeah. I mean, like negative one. Yep. Like it's Celsius. Like, Celsius. The coldest it was that I saw was like negative three. I was like, you guys are pussies. But to be fair, though, to the people that are not accustomed to that, that's a, that's pretty cold. I mean, it's just it's funny because it's just like it's literally like it's like it's the apocalypse. Dude, you should, so we just like <laughs> laughs in Canadian. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we live in Vancouver. People in Vancouver are pretty pretty shitty when like the it gets to mega zero, but like Texas, holy shit, like literally like they're dying. <laughs> Well, no, like, uh, have you heard, like, their whole power so system is, like, not connected to the rest of the country? So, like, they have, like, no backup shit? Yeah, they're just independent power. They're like, we are independent. We don't need any energy from anyone else. Now they're like, please help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's... I'm sure, like, that that cold in, in Texas can't last that long, though. Like, worse, it'll be, like, two weeks. Like, that, we're talking, like, worse, worst case scenario. Yeah. So they'll be fine eventually. 
it just must be shocking because of them. It's just like, yeah, it's hot in Texas all the time. Oh, it's negative two, but. happen anywhere man it can it can snow anywhere except africa what do you mean it can snow in africa they have like mount kilimanjaro there no that's true see so. see you can snow anywhere you're not safe anywhere the snow will find you i have to think of anywhere with in, in the sahara it will not snow i think i think it'll still get like pretty cold though at night but it won't snow but would it get like negative temperature in the Sahara? I believe, I believe that because like um, sand doesn't retain heat like water does. No. So I've seen like pictures of like it's very interesting. Like it snows in the desert, and then it gets covered with 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 sand over it. So when you step in, you actually step into like something really cold, and you're just like, "What the fuck?" And it's just like, "Oh, it's snow under the sand." What? Yeah. What? So. I think that's pretty cool, but also kind of scary. Yeah. To anyone in Texas, there's a there's a there's a brand called North Face. Buy some. Or Columbia. Yeah, Columbia North Face. Columbia North Face. What is it like? H H, L C Healthy or whatever the hell. Um. What else is there? That's kind of hot. Burton. That's American. Um. Jackets. Sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> uh long johns three jackets yeah oh well, what sucks for them though is like their car their cars right because like um the, the, <laughs> the one. reason for them to get snow tires so they're kind of fucked i would pay good money to see like people trying to drive in the snow in texas day one yeah day one <laughs> no one's ever seen snow or just literally just cars and ditches yeah probably just sliding along the road i, I saw videos it, it, it was fucked yeah it Dude, was i like... saw some gnarly flooding too really just people's basements with like rivers going through their basements like probably like that 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 strong of a current just going through stairwells have you seen the videos of the lady just saying like, it's all over my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, whoa, what's going on? And I look at the apartment and I'm just like, damn, your house is wrecked. It's actually gone. Yeah, I saw a photo of just like, well, oh, someone left the, the window open and it's just like just their, their room's covered in snow. I don't know if it was Texas, but it's pretty lit. You, you seen the movie Parasite, right? From like the Korean one, the one that won the Oscar? Remember when like everything gets flooded? Oh yeah. I I think that's what it was. Yeah, that was gnarly. That was, was like yeah, that actually that actually happens. I was like, oh shit, that's that's crazy. That must oh it must suck being poor in Korea and Seoul especially. Yeah. Shout out to Parasite. That's the sick movie. Yeah. Uh, have you ever asked Anna if she lives in like a Parasite style house? No, she doesn't like high rise apartment. Oh shit! So she will never experience the flooding. I don't think so. Mm. She's right here. I'll ask her. You'd be like, hey, Later. hey, Anna, are you part of the parasite conglomerate? <laughs> I'm not poor. Sorry. Do you have a driver, Anna? Yes. His name is Jun. A <laughs> driver? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just she has a hybrid apartment and then a bunch of cats. Yeah. Do they have a cool name? Um uh, Mango. Mango. That's one. Bill. Bill? Bill. What's that? Blue or something? Bungle. Bungle? Yeah. Damn, you're speaking Korean. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we just like insulted a bunch of Korean people. Sorry, we're just repeating shit. And this obviously this is coming from a non-Korean. It's so. literally their names. Yeah, but I don't know what they mean. Like it could be anything. Like my dog's gonna be named Tuna and like Ken Watanabe. That's not racist. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna go from mango to like 
I don't know, something hella racist or something. But the other ones? Yeah. What should be like, Hana, Bill. I think Bill's too. Hana. One sec, Oscar. They just mean star, 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 and bell. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be something like more funny. And she had another cat called Choco, but it died. Rest in peace. But yeah, pretty wholesome, pretty wholesome names. Damn. If you have a cat, what are you gonna name it? Like if you buy one. Uh. Okay, I'll give you more, 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 more data. Your cat is one of those like flat face ones that look like they hate their lives. Those expensive um, ones. Oh, um, probably something sophisticated. I would, if I had one of those cats, I would call it General. General Sanders. Or name it like. I don't know, Pikachu or something. Yeah. <laughs> I know. If you had like one of those like uh, Dan Bilzerian ones, what would you call it? Oh, Dan Bilzerian. Yeah. Um, like those expensive Persian ones. I would call it a uh, peasant. Really? Yeah, peasant. Damn. I would just call it Robin. No, just give him something hilarious like peasant because it's an expensive cat. Call it Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. GameStop. Call it, give it a name. G- uh, money sign GME. GameStop. Shout out to everybody that's made money on that, but I got wrecked by the big boys. You went to pull out. I'll name, it, I'll name it cat, but C and then the at sign. T. The at. Cat. Like, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. C at, uh, C at T. Right? Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, I guess like before we go, I should show you guys how to use the fucking plugin. <laughs> and uh, after that, you should uh, enjoy your week and not kill yourself. But uh, let's just uh, share my screen. Okay, so this is Facebook. Oh, okay, so let's figure out how to use this. So let's put it on this sound. So this is processed. So let's put Terminator on this. So what a Terminator is, it basically makes things um, it makes things go up and down in volume, and sometimes it makes it go up and down in pitch. Right, and you kind of you can kind of think of it like a like an accordion. It tremulates, like it expands, and it contracts, and it depends on the shape, right? So, this is the depth. So, depth can be considered the mix, right? You can click on this to figure out how much of the mix. The groove is like if you want it to be like exactly and on, on the and on the on the beginning of the beat. So when it starts, or if you want it to start a little late, or you want it to start a little early. The feel is also like how quickly it, re- it repeats. So let's say like we, if you had a sine wave, if it would just repeat like every bar, if it was rushed, it would just repeat a little bit before the end of the bar. And if it was dragged, it would just repeat a little bit after the bar. Um, the accent is how pronounced you want it to be, right? So let's just fuck with it. So. <laughs> Like, this is super swingy. 
It sounds really cool. And this is... It sounds more like... I don't know, I like to call it more like Eastern European. More Russian. <laughs> um, let's, let's, let's fuck with the feel now, so... Yeah, so it's a little late. The rush. A little early. And then we stuck with the accent. So you see like the accent, like it's like really pronounced where it's all the way at the max. The sync's just kind of like subtle. So think about it like the, where the tremolo is actually like pumping. It's just throwing it up. Right, so let's uh here, and then the rhythm is called how fast the tremolator is moving, right? So this one's like moving like one eighth, so we can change that. And then we can make it super fast. Like, yeah, it's, it's just an LFO side chain. I think that sounds pretty cool. So now let's talk about the shape. So this is the shape of the LFO. So there's there are different types. So there's the sine wave, right? There's triangle, which is like this. There's a ramp up, which is basically like a ramp that goes up, ramp down, same thing. Trapezoid, it just goes up, it flatlines and it goes down. Uh, square is like up, solid cut down. So a soft square, it's just like, it's almost like a full cut, but it just, go, instead of like going all the way down, it just cuts a little bit. Inverted square, it just kind of starts nothing, and then you get like the full modulation on it. Um, pulse is very similar to fucking a sine. That's the best way I can describe it. Uh, inverse pulse is just the inverse of that. Sawtooth up, uh, it basically like, you. it's like a ramp up, but you get like a very aggressive initial at the beginning. Uh, the same same thing for sawtooth down. It's like up, but as on the way on the way down, you get like a very like aggressive on the way up. Gain electro. I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's like some sort of shape. There's Fender. There's Primer. There's different types of like shapes you can get, right? And then um, you can figure out the tempo of the thing. So you, if if you wanted to like actually follow the the BPM of your track, so you can fuck with that too. So this also like keeps it on BPM. So if you wanted to move it, you would just kind of go like. Like obviously like keep it on, beep, on, like, on like MIDI, that way you like, you know exactly what your track is. But like, if you're doing something like interesting, especially like a transition or something, you can totally fuck with that. I think that'd be cool. Let's talk about like input. So that's the signal that it comes in through your sound, through the plugin. Output is what comes out of it. So you can crank the input if you're thinking like the output's gonna sound loud, but the meters here are gonna tell you you're clipping or not. So obviously try to keep it under the red. Yellow is pushing it, but like you can, you're still good. Uh, let's talk about tweak a bit. So this here is actually like, we can kind of see exactly what's going on with like your shape a little bit. So let's see, let's go to uh, so invert. So this is a pulse, so it kind of looks like this. So let's just go through all the shapes. This is the sawtooth, so it just goes up and down. I'll start this down. This is the Dane Electro. So it's like kind of like a sine wave, but not really. This is like Dan Retier. So it's like a very specific type of like wave, Fender, Premier. You can take a look and see what the fuck's going on. Uh, you can kind of like fuck here with like the, the modes. So the modes will change the little bit of the shape of the wave. So there's like link, sine, exponential. Symmetry, and then I don't know what the fuck this is, but like I call it just like the intention side chain. And then obviously here you can figure out what kind of shape that you want for the thing. So this one's like custom, but if you wanted to fuck with it, like all of them will look the same, kind of like that. Or like I don't know, you would like go like, oh, I wanted to premiere, and then then you obviously your shape kind of looks similar, but not every time. So, and then also there's like different colors of how aggressive you can get on the on on the trust. I guess like. The modulation so there's dirty square like nothing changes here but you will deal here on the sound so i just fuck with them so so yeah it's just different colors for the analog style of tremolo that you're using the width on them obviously you can push it pretty aggressively it's like really on the sides now 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys are alien in mono, but like, if you're in stereo, you would notice that the Tremol is like super freaking wide. Um, let's talk about like the mode. So like the depth mode, so you can like fuck with that even further. So you can go like. So this is like a little bit more bled in, and then this is just like straight up like super aggressive. All right, let's talk about the rate mode. So how fast like the rate moves. So that's hilarious. It's like super slow. There's also like gate, right? You can change it. So a gate, what it does is just so when it finishes, it just cuts it off and then just kind of restarts. Uh, let's talk about the attack. So the attack's how fast it happens. So you know, this is happening right away. You make it super fast. A little bit of delay. Right. Kind of like the how like the, the modulation happens. So you can tell it's also here for the threshold. So So this one's like really pushing it. Let's talk about the release. So basically like this kind of like, it's it's kind of like a compressor. So like the modulation, as soon as it's, if you got it all the way to the right, it would just be like more consistent and like the volume or whatever. But when it comes to like, you have like a very fast or minimum release, then the modulation will happen and it'll just kind of like disappear. So that's basically how you use this plugin. It's super cool. What I recommend you guys use is just like, I don't know, try presets and then fuck with them until you're satisfied with it. It has like really cool movement. So yeah, that's basically how you use that plugin. If you want to learn more, go watch the videos from Sound Toys. I, uh, I love everything that they do everything so if you want to buy you don't know what to buy for plugins and you want to take your prediction level to the next your production game to the next level uh just buy the shit if you're in school you can qualify for a fucking um education discount don't be like shallot and pay full price for everything yeah yeah how much were you paid like 500 dollars? it was like something stupid i got on sale black friday uh, I can't remember what it was, but pretty sure I got it on sale. Yeah, I pay like 200 bucks, I think, for the whole thing. Because I went to Hyperbit. Shout out to Sarek. I don't think I paid more than like 250. Damn. Nice. Maybe you got the Black Friday sale then. Anybody, anything else that you want to tell the cloud before we sign off? Um. Yeah. Buy one clothes. You heard it here first, guys. Buy warm clothes. Yeah. Cool. And uh, the, the cold will always find you. You see it every year, Vancouver people. It's not going to snow here. We're Vancouver. It always rains. It'll never snow. It snows for one day chaos <laughs> or uh, Diego driving on the coca Hall in the winter bro I, I want to see you drive in it with my car if we don't die I'll be stoked I'll be like okay yeah, I'm just a pussy like I'll just fucking drive quick faster no I, I think you're good I, I think like uh, you need to just drive my car on the coca Hall at speed limit, whatever it says. And if we don't die, we're good. I just like admit the fact that I suck. Yeah. It's but because you, you haven't done it. It's all, it's all mental. It's not in your head, bro. He's a little, a little slip. Just like, <gasps> it's not that. It's just like, it, it's like, it goes for like slip, slip. I'm just like, ah, shit, I'm sideways. You went sideways? Yes, I spun out. I told you this. Damn. I told That's, you this. I was just kind of like, okay. That was pretty lit. Yeah. Don't you see all the semi trucks going like past the speed limit? 
No, the semis were going like 50. Oh, yeah, that's true. Especially on the downhill. Uphill, they go pretty fast, but... Yeah, I ain't fair enough. Cool. Hi, guys. Uh, this was another episode of Beat Challenge, episode 21. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, donate to our fan page so we can stop having day jobs. Hire Diego so he can quit his job. No. He's... No, no, I am not trying to quit my job. I like my job. I just, I also like. Yeah, never, actually, never mind. Day one, day one, work my job. job forever. Yep, yeah, forever. No, he At least twenty leave. years. Yep. All right, see you guys. Don't kill yourself. So, guys, don't kill yourself. <laughs>